The new Hoima Sugar Factory in Chizira Mfumbi sub-county could turn out to be more of a curse than a blessing to the residents. At least 700 locals have been displaced to pave way for the project. Francis Matovu is one of the aggrieved. Matovu is your everyday ambitious youth who nursed big dreams for a brighter future. But all his aspirations now seem to have gone with the wind. I'll go to my capital of about 1M. Then that capital had invested it by creating up a, a small shop in uh, our area because we had there a booming center which was developing at a very high speed. Then I invested in my capital there and I was working, I could get my money, I could do whatever, so my life was good. But since that eviction happened on 20th, oh, 20th of Feb this year, all those were looted and nothing I picked out. To make matters worse, the residents claim that the local leaders to who they run for help have not helped. They accuse some of the leaders of working with their tormentors, those behind the evictions. We reported our matter to the local leaders, but by this time we didn't get any help. When we could go to the chairman analysis, the RDCs, they could just see, look at, at us as if we are animals. Francis WSJ, chairman analysis. Uh, he's the one who uh, he's involved in the in uh, he's involved to evict our, our our people because in the 2002 in 2012 he came with police DPC with police and uh, 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 and he bring workers from Chimera's press and he beat our our resident. But the Chizira Mfumbi sub-county LC3 chairman insists that the residents were compensated after they were asked to leave the land. He also claims that they did not own the land in the first place and that others who were paid later returned to claim more money. Those people were evicted and they were paid. So this is the second time, if you can see in, in the other list of those people who were evicted. That Stephen was there. But like other evictees, Stephen vehemently denies receiving money and claims that what appeared as compensation was stage managed. There is no people who, 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 who compensated. There is no one. There is no one. They bring uh, workers from uh, an, uh, uh, an Indian press from there and they stand to our gardens and then they start to pay them uh, money. Now, Matovu and the 700 other people living in camps in Chizira and Fumbi, who are displaced from their homes and main sources of income, don't have much to look forward to. I had my land. I didn't take much of education because of such activities of eviction. Then I stopped ed education, having completed the HSC. I went back to the ground. I sat, I got a hole, I had to cultivate. There have been two evictions since the sugar factory project came up. This is despite a court order halting the evictions and calling for consensus between the locals and the factory owners. Ingrid Nantege, NTV, Weekend Edition.